What's going on guys? Johnny Alonzo. I'm here in downtown Baltimore, Maryland at the Rams Head Live. Now, tonight I'm going to be interviewing a very cool band out of Texas, a band called Flyleaf. So don't go anywhere. This is Click On This. What's going on guys? Johnny Alonzo for Click On This. I'm here at the Rams Head Live in downtown Baltimore, Maryland. And tonight I have two good friends of mine from the band Flyleaf. I have Kristen and Pat. What's going on, guys? Not too much. We're ready, ready to play. Yes, you are. Right on. Right on. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So listen, let's, let's, let's kick it off. Um, tell me about the tour. How's the tour going? It's been going well so far. Right. It's our second night of Snow Core, and we're excited to be jamming with Adelita's Way and many others. Right on. Right on. And I just checked the, uh, the calendar, and it said you guys are going to be on, uh, I think you're like uh, halfway through the second leg of this tour, right? So far, you got like a couple more months? Yeah, so we did a tour uh, before the holidays to support Between the Stars, and Snow Court just started yesterday, but it is, in a way, a second part second tour. Part. Yeah, so uh, it'll end March 15th. Sure. Now, if I can just backtrack a little bit for some of the viewers, um, can you just tell us, I mean, how did the band get started? Um, we were just uh, friends all in a town, and our local bands broke up and turned into Flyleaf, basically. So. <laughs> Pretty much that's it, right? And that's Texas, correct, basically? That is, about an hour north of Austin. Right on. So, you know, being submerged in such a, you know, a thick, you know, awesome music scene, did, um, were there a lot of, like, local influences that um, just kind of, like, helped shape the Flyleaf sound? Oh, definitely. We had a lot of uh, older brothers and sisters teaching us along the ways. I bet you did. Yeah. Now, Kristen, so you're kind of like the newest member of the band, kind of, sort of? You yeah. Know? Yeah, you know? Um, let me ask you, uh, you know, I'm sure you've been asked this question a million times, but I mean, what is it like, or what has it been like to uh, just jump on board to one of this, this, this great project? It was amazing. From the start, honestly, um, when my band broke up around the same time that they lost a lead singer, it kind of... I didn't, wasn't sure what I was going to do. I didn't even know if I was going to join a band again or if I was going to write my own stuff. But um, joining Flyleaf has really rejuvenated my spirit and it's allowed me to keep making music with great people. So I'm happy. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, was there like a uh, passing of the torch when you signed on as the singer? Well, I have still yet to meet Lacey, oh. but um, you know, she texted me a couple times and asked me if I, you know, needed anything or if there's anything she could do to kind of help me. And I asked her a couple questions about certain songs, like "Swept Away," what the right. lyrics mean and stuff. But overall, I, you know, I, I, I was just ready to play again. You know, I know what it is to be in a band, so I had that kind of background, sure. um, and I did a lot of research, you know, yeah, about yeah. the band and and studied Lacey's kind of you know, feel at first, but then there was definitely a time when I realized that I needed to just take it in my own hands and my own heart. So. <laughs> well, that's an artist's choice, we know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so listen, I mean, there's, um, here's a question, uh, with this, uh, what's the reaction been with the crowd, you know, uh, with some of the more classic Flyleaf songs, like, all around me, with Kristen, you know, um, holding the mic. I mean, how's it been? What's the reaction been? Like, open arms or what? I'm sure. You know? it's, it's been a, um, a, a great reaction so far. It's yeah. fun to watch people fall in love with her every night. So Without question. It's cool. No, that's, that's <laughs> awesome. There are, a lot of, uh, there are a lot of firsts here with this band. Uh, first record with uh, Loud and Proud. Uh, first record with Kristen. Um, how was the creative process for this record for you guys this time around? It was amazing, honestly. Um, there's a lot of us who write in the band, so I was really happy with that because, you know, it never fell on one person. We all kind of had a way of etching at the, you know, masterpiece that we wanted to create, and um, it was really, honestly, kind of a natural, organic environment. I remember Samir kept saying, "Let's not focus too much on a genre. Let's not focus too much on an end result. Let's take each song and let it kind of take you on a journey." Sure. And I feel like. Um, Hopefully, it seems to me like we, we succeeded in, in having our album kind of have these dynamics and let each songwriter kind of speak for themselves, and, and then it ends up being a culmination of what Flyleaf is. Sure. Oh, I just remembered something. That's, that's, that's awesome. I just remembered something. Don't you do all the artwork for the band? Oh, I, I don't do all the art, artwork, no? but I did on New Horizons. You, you did on New Horizons. Yeah. Right on, right on. I, think, I did some of my homework, guys. I <laughs> really did. He does a lot of the artwork. <laughs> he does some amazing, amazing pieces, that, for sure. That's hot. That's hot. Mm -hmm. Now, it's hard to believe. I mean, you guys are coming up on 10 years as the band Flyleaf, right? <laughs> I, I think I've been with my cellular service for five years, and I thought that was a long time. <laughs> 10 years is a long time for a band. Tell me, man, with this progress, I mean, you know, tell me about the band now versus 10 years ago and what this journey's been like. 
uh, now we're just seasoned, I guess. We understand more about ourselves and what we're doing, and, yeah. and it's it's a lot more fun, and, yeah. and it's an exciting season for players. That's 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 awesome. That's awesome. You know, um, it's always been a, a fun thing for me to see bands, you know, when they're on tour, when they come out with a new album. And um, did you add anything, you know, special to this tour versus the last tour? Because um, I know you did add a lot of. Uh, screaming to your repertoire now, right? <laughs> Honestly, I don't scream no. very much. Pat is a great screamer. He's the screamer. And I'm more of a, you know, belter, a growler. Yeah. Um, I pull some of my influences more from like a Bjork kind of artsy kind of growl thing that I've always just loved. You know, once again, going back to just winning wanting my um, version of what I do to be my version, you know, and to be something that I do well. Um, so sure. every now and again, live, uh, we'll do Cassie and I'm so sick and, and a scream will come out. But it, <laughs> it really has to be from a, a real place, authentic place for me, or it doesn't make sense. So, um, but as far as uh, what's different on this tour compared to the last one, um, we added a song off Memento Mori that we haven't played before, uh, Missing, which is really fun. and. Um, a lot of Between the Stars songs and a cover as well. Oh, I'm stoked. I'm excited. And you said that uh, sound, uh, sound check was great tonight here at Ramsey? Oh, yeah. It sounds amazing here. So That's we're really, awesome. really happy. Yeah. <clears throat> Last thing, um, any social media? Any websites you guys want to shout out to uh, some of our viewers? Yeah, Twitter and Instagram or Flyleaf Music. And you can go to flyleafmusic.com, our website. That's fantastic. Guys, thank you so much. Hey, listen, Kristen and Pat, I'm Johnny Alonzo, and you're watching Click on This. Hey, I'm Kristen. Pat. And we're Flyleaf, and you're watching Click on This.